I must confess, I'm actually here for the gymnastics meet. Thank you, I know, it's a 10, what can I say? I'd like to share with you a story of my friend Mabel. Do not show her picture yet. I, uh, I have a friend Mabel who, no delicate way of saying this, was an accident. She was never meant to be born. Um, she had to endure great hardship. Nobody around her was like her. And yet through it all, she was able to survive, blossom, and bear fruit. Now you may show them my friend Mabel. This is Mabel. <laughs> my neighbor planted some uh, ground cover and then ignored it. And the weeds grew up so tall. And one day I was on my walk and I realized that's no weed sitting there. That's a tomato plant. So I named her Mabel. And every day I would go by, you go girl, rock on. And then one day I went by after I'd been on a trip and discovered Mabel had 12 tomatoes right there on the storm drain. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Bloom where you're planted took on new meaning. <laughs> <laughs> but each of us can be like Mabel and be true to who we really are and fill the measure of our creation. Think about where would we be without the crackle and snap crackle pop? Where would we be if Einstein had combed his hair like all the other little boys? <laughs> what if Dorothy had camped out in Munchkinville and never gone around the yellow brick road to somewhere over the rainbow? What if Mother Teresa had gone to finishing school like the rest of her girlfriends? And what if Gladys Knight had never found her pips? <laughs> Today we will talk about blazing your own trail, and I'm going to show you how. <laughs> 